After you've added your accounts, it's time to set up your email autoresponder. And that'll be done here on the templates tab. So I already added a example campaign of something that you might be using if you were to sell tier. Um, as you can see, the from name I set up as Jake and the from address I set up as Jake at wholesaleshops.com, which is, if you go to the accounts tab, the same as my POP three account. Whatever your from address is, is what's going to be spoofed as the from address. Um, when the receiver gets the email, it's going to show up that it came from this. And when they reply to that email, it'll end up in the inbox of um, whatever you put here. So when they reply to this one, then the response to is going to be sent out to that email. I just wrote up a little example here of something you might write to someone if you were selling tier. So for subject, I put, hey, saw your website. I got a cool tool for you. So this might be to a list of scraped emails of people that own uh, websites and might be interested in generating some more traffic for their product or their um, service or whatever they might be selling. So this first email is going to say something like, hey, have you ever heard of the Total Email Autoresponder? I think it could help you generate a lot of leads in your niche. I've been using it for a few years now and it's blew up my business. So then down here you can see I put the footer and the unsubscribe tag. This is something that you don't need to put. But if you go up here and you'll see the unsubscribe text and the personal info, this is where you can set up what you want it to say down here. So if you go to the unsubscribe text, you'll see here it just says something simple like click here to unsubscribe with your unsubscribe link. You can make this say whatever you want. And uh, if someone clicks this unsubscribe link, you'll see down here in the blacklist tab, you have your unsubscription blacklist and their email will pop up right here. And for future mailing, it will not uh, send emails to anyone that has clicked your unsubscribe button um, along with any emails that you might manually import into your blacklist. So if you get a suppression list or something from your advertiser, this is where you're going to upload it to make sure that you don't um, email those leads. So back to the templates tab, if we go to the personal info, this is your footer uh, tag. So this could be your company info or maybe some information about you or your product or whatever you want it to be. Um, down here you can see that to use the footer feature, add footer tag on each template. So that's what this is for down here. Up here, your SMTP account, this is the SMTP that's gonna be using to, to send this template out. Um, you can set it to any or you can uh, set a specific one. I currently have it set to use my Amazon SMTP. I can also have it use my um, my domain uh, server IP, but in this case, I'm gonna be using a third party SMTP service. We can see here that I added a second response already. If you double click it, it'll open that one up. And here I just said, um, it, you should totally check it out. Uh, totallyemailautoresponder.com forward slash tutorials. If you have any questions to name, so it'll put their name here. Add me on Skype and then I have my Skype name here. So someone can contact me. Uh, I have the footer and the unsubscribe link just like in the first one. If you click on the little tags button up here, it'll show you all the available tags that Tier has. Um, like the location tags, if you want to get a little personalized with your emails. There's also an attachment tag. So if someone attaches an image, you, it could say thanks for the picture. Or if there's no image attached, it could say something like, why didn't you send me a picture? Or can you please send me a picture? You know, that's for maybe uh, if you're more into dating, this can become very useful. So the way that this autoresponder works is Basically, this first response is the one that is going to be sent first to your leads. And then once your lead replies to that and the email comes into your POP3 inbox, as you have set up on your accounts, it'll extract that email and then it'll match it to the second response and it'll send this one out. And you can um, set a delay on those if you really want. You can attach images. Um, 
if you change anything on here, make sure that you push update template and not add template or else it'll add a third template. And if you're just trying to update, you just say update and it goes ahead and does that. If you want to add a third template, just change the name to response three or whatever you might want and go ahead and just push add template and you'll see now there'll be a, a third one here, but we don't need that for this case. There's also the no response template option up here. And what that is, is if somebody doesn't respond after a certain amount of time, it'll send them the no response template. So we'll go ahead and set that up so you can kind of see how it works. Um, the from name would be exactly the same as before. Same with the from address. And the subject might be like, hello, question mark. Um, I still haven't received a response from you. Still with me? Question mark. And you can have this, let's say you set that delay for 12 hours. So if they don't respond to whichever template you select, it'll send them this template after 12 hours. So we might stick that on response to, and we'll go ahead and add that. And that's it. So now if we go back to our templates down here, you can see that once this email is sent out and they don't reply to it, after 12 hours, it'll send them, that'll send them a reminder. Also another quick thing I'd like to go over is the conditions tab. Basically conditions is you can set conditions for when you want an email not to be sent. So there's, um, you're probably familiar with the no reply emails. So it'll be like from no reply at gmail.com or no reply at craigslist.com or whatever you might be doing. So you can set it up to, if the from address does not contain no reply, then it'll match. So um, just go ahead and add that and I'll say, if from address does not contain no reply, then match. That's basically saying if it says no reply in the from address, it'll not match the next template and it won't send an email out because it might be something like a robot or a support type email and you don't want it to respond to those. So there's a lot of different um, conditions that you can set here to make, make it work for your campaign. If you already have HTML creatives, instead of writing your own email here, you can just uh, simply import an HTML file if you already have an email created and you just want to quickly upload that. Um, then you have your other basic features like your uh, like inserting URLs or uh, attaching images. And then there's also the visual and the HTML editor, depending on what you're doing. There's also the preview button down here if you want to see what your email looks like. And you can always send yourself a test template down here. Uh, you can select your template, one or two, select what SMTP account you want to use, and then the email to send it to. It's really easy. And this is good to send yourself an email, make sure it inboxes and make sure it looks good before you start blasting this out. Once you have your template set up and let's say that you wanna send this to your scrape leads of um, domain owners, you just simply go to the import export leads tab, select what template. So you're gonna to wanna to select template one or response one so it sends that and then you can import the leads into that template. And down here you'll see it'll put the emails into pending, and then when you run the autoresponder, it'll send that first uh, template out that you just set up.